Hello, 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 everyone. It is Thursday night, live in the hive here. So I am coming on to see how you guys are doing tonight. How's it going, everyone? So tonight I'm going to be making a little grapevine. Hey, Janet, how are you? A little grapevine Easter bunny. Let me get this out of the way. And... So, hey Peggy, I have these two forms that I got at the Dollar Tree, and I just went ahead and spray painted them white. And then this came from the Dollar Tree, little bunny ears. And then I have a little pom-pom. I got an AC Moore. Hey Judy, that I'm going to put as its little tail. Hey Nancy. Hello, hello, hello. Now that is weird. Hey Cheryl, how are you? Hey Reva. Hey Brenda. So, like I said, I went ahead and um, spray painted these. So I'm going to put them to the side. And what I normally do is, let me get the price tag off. I know, it is cold, isn't it? Cold, 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 cold. All right. So, what I like to do is I like to put ribbon on the ears that I'm going to match the um, bow to. So what I normally do is I just kind of hold it up to my light and kind of trace it and get a general idea. I know I heard that, Colleen. I'm so bummed out about that. Ugh. So, and this is one and a half inch ribbon, so it's going to be pretty easy. Hey, 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 everyone, to go ahead and trace that. So I'm going to try and get it in the middle. I kind of just make a little template out of paper first. And then just cut it out. Hey, Johnny, how are you? Hey, Lynette. Okay, and then... So, see, I just make a little kind of ear piece to kind of cover that pink. Although, we could leave it pink because I'm using the pink and the... Um, hey, Joanne. Hey, Janet. How are you? Because we're using the pink and the green, so... If you are new to my page and don't get alerts, type in live and you will get a message from my bot. Oh, that's funny. Um, and then um, make sure you answer the questions because if you don't answer the questions, you will not be subscribed. Hey, Marianne. Hey, Deb. How's it going? So I kind of like to get this done and out of the way first so that the glue has time to dry. Hey, Pam. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of take this and just cover it, cover the, um, and that wire's coming out. I'm just going to snip that wire off. Okay. You just got the alert. That's odd. I sent them all out. All right. So I'm just going to really basically just put a bunch of glue in here and then let that dry. Okay. I'm going to just pop that in. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just like to cover it and kind of, you know, make it look... Uh -oh, what did I do with the other ear? It was like this. <laughs> I thought I lost it. Okay, then I'm going to do the same thing on this one. Hello, Cindy. Hey, Laurie. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing over here. And then I'm just going to go ahead... I know. I love my glue gun. Sue, how are you? Are you staying warm in Indiana? All right. So see, I just kind of cover the ears with the, um, the ribbon that matches the same ribbon that I'm going to do the bow with. <laughs> okay. So we were going to set this to the side. And then this is what I do. I just kind of find, I have two. These came excuse me, from the Dollar Tree. And all I did was I just took spray paint and spray painted them white. And then um, I'm going to kind of find where I want them to sit together nicely. And then I'm going to take zip ties and zip tie them together. Let's see. It's a little, it's a little wonky. Let's try there. Okay, so I'm just going to take my zip ties. And you don't really have to worry. Hey, Kathy. Um, about the zip tie showing because you're going to put a bow here. So you don't have to worry about this at all. 
I can get them through there. Yeah, just kind of another, you know, little touch. Oh no, <laughs> that's funny. And this one, there we go. Okay. And I usually try to zip tie it in like two places. Okay. So kind of, I got them from the Dollar Tree, Cindy. Yep, I just got them from the Dollar Tree. And these, um, the grapevines also. Hey, Audrey, how are you? Okay, you see if you just do one, it's kind of floppy. So I kind of try to do, hey, Annette, how are you? Like two or three, so it kind of is a little sturdier. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it turned out cute. I really like how it turned out. And then just kind of feed it through there. Hey, Dora. Okay. And this is kind of, like I said, she's going to give it a little more stability. And they don't have, I think I bought a bunch of them last year. See how that's even more stable? But I'm going to put one more on this side as well. Hey, Trixie. Thank you. Yeah, I think it turned out really cute. Hey, Diane. Hey, Angie. Yep, did that last night on Lori's page. I was so nervous, you guys. I don't know why. Because I'm live on here all the time, but it's different when you go on someone else's page, you know? I don't know. I don't know. All right. So, I zip that tied on there good. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, all right. So see, it's a little sturdier. I mean, it's still going to, you know, you can put one back here if you want, maybe a thicker one, if you're worried about it flopping around. Although it's going to be against a door, so you really don't need to worry about it. But we'll just throw one more on there just to be sure. I did, Kathy. Can you see it over here? It turned out really cute. Oh, thank you, Darlene. Okay, I'm just going to turn that so that it doesn't um doesn't yep i'm just pushing it like through the grapevine and i want to push that back so it doesn't scratch the door at all so you see how adding those i mean it's a little floppy but it's a lot better all right let me get this mess out of the way i mean this is a really simple project it doesn't you know doesn't cost you an arm and a leg thank you all right, so that's there. And then what I do is I get these pom-poms from AC Moore. And these are um, four-inch pom-poms. And I haven't been able to find them anywhere else. Oh, thank you, Linda. So I thought I would probably put it, like, off to the side over here. And all I'm going to do to do that is... Thank you. I'm just going to take some wire... You could probably just glue it on too, but, oh, thanks, Cindy. So I'm just going to feed it right through there, and you're not going to see this wire at all. Kind of get it even, and then just twist real good so it's nice and tight. And then see, you don't even see that wire in there, okay? And then I'm just going to take it and feed it right through the grapevine again. Yeah, I know. Isn't that a great idea? It's just something... You know to kind of personalize it a little more and all i do is i just kind of hold the ears up you know like against a light and kind of trace a trace a piece of paper and um you know that way i kind of get the general outline hey teresa how are you yeah i was really happy how that turned out last night although <laughs> i didn't have all the um the mesh tubing I needed, which I was like, usually I have enough. I must have just been not paying attention, really cut the pieces long. Because usually you get like 12 pieces out of it. Hey, Dorothy, how are you? Don't forget to share this if you would. And if you don't get alerts, type in live and you will get a message from my bot that you have to respond to. Okay, and then I'm just going to feed the wire through again. And kind of hide it in between there, but just enough that it's going to hold it good. And if you have trouble gripping that, just take, you know, a set of, thank you, 
I sure can. I'm just going to feed that through so it doesn't stick out the back. Okay. And again, if you have trouble grabbing it with your fingers, just take a piece of pliers, um, a pair of pliers, and just kind of feed it in. And like I said, I'm just going to make sure that it's not sticking out the back. Okay. And then we have our little bunny tail. All right. I know, I know, they were supposed to ship out today, so hopefully I will have the signs soon, or else I'm going to come up with another plan. So this is the, um, the mailbox cover I did last night. Isn't that cute? So see, it's just on a rail, on a work rail. You can't kind of see it under there. And then um, you can just kind of bend it around your mailbox and then put a bungee cord on it to hold it tight. Whoops. But yeah, she turned out cute. Hey, Linda, he's doing good. Thank you. No, not yet, Colleen. I had to order um, more flowers from Hobby Lobby, and they're supposed to be here next Wednesday, I think. So, hey, Sandy, how's it going? Hey, Colleen. So then what I do is I don't... What I usually do is I kind of can like wrap that around like that. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then you can take either pipe cleaners. Thanks, Betty. Because the pipe cleaners are white, so they probably won't see them as much. <laughs> really, Rosie? I put um I put Christmas ones out and they were fine. I didn't have any problems with those. Hey Debbie, how are you? So see how the white kind of blends in? What do I do with the rest of my pipe cleaners? Oh, here they are. Okay. All right. Thank you. And then you just kind of want to put a bunch of these in to kind of make sure that the ears are stable. And again, just feed it right through there and turn it over and get it as tight as you can get it. And then just cut that off and then kind of tuck it under. I know, right? There's a deep freeze everywhere. Holy Toledo. I will be glad. Um, Monday, I think it's Monday and Tuesday. We're supposed to have like 50 degree weather or something. I'm like crazy. So, right, let's see if I can get that through. Doesn't want to go. I know ours doesn't either, but I think I had um, bought these last year. At the end of the season, I always try and grab as much as I can. So I have it for the next season. Okay, there we go. So um, that's why I usually have this stuff before the season begins. And then what I will do, too, is I'll come back with my glue gun and hit this with some glue. Hey, Ferline, how's it going? I know, it's crazy. This weather is just absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy. You just never know what it's going to be like. So like I said, I'll just hit this in a bunch of different places so that I know it's not going to come off. And I'll also hit it with some glue so that it doesn't um, move around. I know. Hey, Stephen, how you doing? How you feeling? I know. Isn't it cute? I've done... I've done these um, grapevines like this for a cat, like for um, Halloween, and the bunnies for Easter, and I think they turn out really cute. Hey, Andrea, how are you? I know, guys, so I got called for federal jury duty in Philadelphia next week, so I'm really I'm really praying that I don't have to go, you guys, because I have to, I'll have to take a train down and figure out how to get down there and how what train I have to take, and 
I have to be down there like 8.30 in the morning. I just painted the grapevines. I used um, spray paint. Oh, you go to another doctor? Poor Steven. He's been dealing with a lot, buddy. So, and again, I just kind of try to put on a couple different places so it's not going to move around. And I kind of shake it so that's not going anywhere. My paint will really flake it off here. All right. The ears I got at the Dollar Tree. Okay. So then when we're all done, I will go ahead and just um, hit this with a little bit of glue where I put each of those. So for now, I will set this to the side, and I'm just going to make a little bow. I'm not going to make a big one. Um, yep, I got the the frames and... <laughs> I know, the poor bunny, right? The frames and the um, hat, or the ears, at the Dollar Tree. All right. So I will, I'm just going to make a little one ribbon bow. I don't want it big. Where did I put? Oh, there it is. So. And if anybody's interested in my group, you guys have to join. We have a lot of fun. All right. Get that cut. Hey, Barbara, how are you? Doodlebug Lane Resigns. Thank you, Teresa. Teresa had gotten some signs that were cute that she told me she would let me know where she got them from. Okay. So like I said, we're just going to do a very simple one ribbon bow. Um, and I'm only using one and a half inch ribbon because I don't want it to be big. <laughs> so it's not going to be huge. Um, you could order off of line from them now, now Debbie. Yeah, they actually just started selling online. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ribbon and I am going to wrap the wire right around the ribbon. Oh no, Stephen. That's not good. It's not good at all. Hey, Sandra, how are you? All right, and then I'm just going to take this and wrap it around this first peg. Make sure I have it straight. Nope, I have it twisted. Okay. Um, I live like six hours away from Pat Catan's. There's one in Pittsburgh that I go to when I go to my, um, my husband's from Pittsburgh. And so we usually go for Thanksgiving. He goes more often to see his mom, but I just don't actually get out that much. Um, but no, so I probably won't be able to. But I heard that they're not going to do a big going out of business sale because Michaels owns them and they're just going to move the inventory to Michaels. Hey, Linda. Hey, Remy. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that on my finger and twist. AC Moore, Cheryl. It's called AC Moore. And then go to the next one. <clears throat> okay, and in my group I do show you, um, you know, the details of making a bow and that kind of stuff, so thank you, Tracy, I appreciate that. And like I said, I just want a simple one ribbon bow, I don't want it huge. I am good, Sandra. Okay, I'm supposed to go down to um, Ed London tomorrow, but we'll see. I woke up not feeling great today, um, so we'll see how I feel. What is on the table behind me? Oh, you mean the this or that? There's lots of stuff behind me, Teresa. <laughs> There's a whole mess of stuff behind me. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's my mailbox swag I, I made last night on um, Hardworking Mom's page. You can get this one on ProboTheHand.com. 
They also sell them on Amazon, I believe. But this is my favorite. Oh, they did? Oh. Yeah, thanks, Linda. I hope so. Yeah, I love the carrot, too. We made that in my group last week. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, that's a mailbox swag I made last night on Lori's page, Teresa. Yep, probothehand.com. Yep. Thank you for doing that, Cindy. Okay, so, like I said, this is just going to be like a little one ribbon bow. Nothing big. And I'm going to untie this. Now, I actually left the ear band on and just attached the whole thing. Now, a key to making your bow, if you use this, make sure that you have all the wire pulled off of there. You don't want to leave any um, on there. Okay, so then I'm going to tie that off. And then I want a couple tails. And I don't know how long I want them. So I'm just going to, I think I'm going to do three tails. So all you do is you just take it and fold it over. Scott sells them too. Oh, okay. I, I wouldn't doubt that. All right. So I'm just going to take that. Hey, Susan, how are you? And cut that off. All right. And then make sure I've got that done good. And then the easiest way to get your bow off is to just take this top one off. And then it'll pop right off. This came, excuse me, this came from Michael's. Get this stuff out of the way. Hey, Jonathan, how's it going, buddy? out of my way. Where did I put my fluff box? Oh, I painted my fluff box, you guys. I decided to paint it yellow. I know, right? Everybody's cold. Ugh. Okay, so. Oh, no problem. No problem at all, Teresa. Okay, so I'm just going to put that on there. Going to make sure my tails are going the right way. No problem, Muriel. How are you? And then I'm just going to fluff my bow. I did, Linda. Did you? Are you going? Thank you, Stephen. I can't wait. I can't wait to meet everyone and talk to everyone. I'm so excited. Okay, just kind of move that around a little bit. Ugh, cold is the name of the game lately. Cold, 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 cold. All right, so then I'm just going to take my bow. Thanks, Sandy. I got this um, ribbon from Burton and Burton. It's crazy, right? Then again, I'm just going to feed this wire through. Or try to feed it through. Hey, Georgie, how are you? Get it through there. Oh, definitely, Linda. You have to. I know. I'm so excited. I can't wait to meet everyone. Huh. I don't know why you're having problems. I have it on my um, computer and I don't see anything. It looks okay here, but the box I did, yes, I made the um, fluff box. Hey, Janet. All right, so then I'm just going to take this and wrap it around there real good. Oh, thanks, Jan. Yeah, this is a real simple project. It doesn't take a lot. And hey, Joy, how's it going? Hey, Bridget. Hey, Deborah. All right, and then I will cut that off. Sometimes it's your internet. Sometimes it's the weather. You know, you just never know. All right, and then I'm just going to take that and feed that back in. I know. There's going to be a boatload of people there, Linda. I know. It's going to be crazy. 
it is going to be crazy. Hey, Kathy, how's it going? Well, I'm going to be at the beach the two weeks before the the um, thing. Hey, is it Raylene? That's a pretty name from Australia. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, the mesh last night came from, oh, Craft Outlet. Yep, I got that at Craft Outlet. I just want to spread these out. Hey, Beverly, how are you? And just get my bow going. And then just kind of make the tails go where you want them to go or if you don't want them long. Um, Teresa, I know they had opened it up again. I'm not sure if they sold out again or not. I know they had opened it up um a couple of days ago but i'm like i said i'm not sure if it's still available so yeah but see how simple that project is and look how cute it turns out right it's just a simple bow the ears and like i said i just kind of make the ears to match the ribbon so it gives a little more personality Right, I knew I saw that they did. What's the wreath gala? I don't think I've heard of that. I haven't heard of that. But look how cute that is, right? Something real simple and easy. And then what I'll do is I will just go back and just hit this stuff with hot glue so it doesn't, you know, again, it's not going to go anywhere, but I just kind of like to hit it one more time with it. And make sure that it's not going to move around on me. Yes, it. I've made snowmen like this. I've made um, cats for Halloween. What else have I made? I um, can't remember what else. But, yeah, so, I mean, I just, like, for the cats, I'll, I'll spray paint the things black. And, um go from there so yeah so that's what I did the ears came from AC more or from Dollar Tree and the tail came from um, oops my glue the tail came from AC more and this is a what is it a four inch they're hard to find the bigger ones a four inch pom-pom but isn't that cute yeah it turns out really cute oh and don't forget about the signs I have in my shop I want to show you guys a couple that I have, um, some Easter ones. I think I'm going to be making one of these on Monday night. I have the Happy Easter with the like pink outline, and then the Happy Easter with the purple chevron outline, and then the Happy Easter, and then this Easter one. Aren't these cute? So I think I'm going to make one of these... Um, on Monday night. And here's a couple more Easter. A round one. Which one do you guys want to see? A round one? Or a, um, and then this one. The striped ones. I think that's all the Easter ones I have. And then the ladybug ones I have. I have these two different ones. And then look at these round ones. I love this one. That one with the little eyes down there. And then this one with the welcome on. No, Jerry Lynn, the place I'm getting the signs, the signs were held up in customs or something. So they're, they were supposed to get there today. Um, and then they were going to ship them out. So, And then I have some of these. The Be Blessed. A bunch of dog ones. Dogs make me happy. People, not so much. No, these signs I sell in my shop. Um, these, the, um, license plates ones are $8 and the round ones are uh, round ones and the big square ones are $12 plus shipping. Oh, and I still have a couple of these. I have two of these. I think the happy Valentine's. The first one, you want me to make this one? I know I want to make one of these Easter signs on Monday. So I have to decide which one. Maybe I'll put a poll up and see which one you guys want me to make. 
So if you're interested in any of these signs, they're in my Etsy shop. Um, so I know, aren't they adorable? I love those signs. I know I found them and I'm like, I have to get those and sell those. So um, let me see. Here it is. All right. I'll put the link here for my Etsy shop. If you guys want any of the signs, go and order them. Oh, no, that's not it. Why it does that? Do, do, do. Uh oh, undo. All right, there we go. All right. The um, Be Blessed one is $8. And so all of the, um, these are like license plate signs. These are $8. And all of the other ones, the round ones and the bigger ones, are $12. Yeah, I saw signs too. I get them all over Roxanne. Anywhere I can find the 50-yard rolls of ribbon. So I will be getting some more of that in my shop soon too. So, so yeah, so the round ones and these rectangular, the bigger rectangular ones are 12. So go order those. Get them. So I think I'll make that um, Monday, one of those Monday. I'll put that on. I'll put a post on my page. And um, I'll have you guys vote which one you want me to um, make on Monday night. And then Thursday night, it all depends if I get called for jury duty in Philadelphia. Has anybody? All right. Teresa, you live in Philadelphia. Are you still on here? Hey, Rose. Hey, Pam. Um, I have a cat. Oh, did I sell it? Oh, yeah. They don't have a lot of cat ones. Did you see this one? This is the only... Um, cat ones that I found. No, I didn't get these in London. Nope. I have to order them. So they should be in. I ordered them Monday. They take a week to get in. Not yet. Um, I, they signs take a week to get in. So I ordered them Monday. So they should be here Tuesday. So they should go out Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Do they have good ribbon? Yeah. So I have to take a train into Philly to go to the federal courthouse. Mm. Oh, hey, Gail. Good. I'm glad you caught me. And I'm not looking forward to it because I have to be down there at 830, which means I probably have to catch. I don't even know. I'm going to go down to the train station on Monday or Tuesday and just kind of scope it out, see what train I need to go on, see where parking is and that kind of stuff. So I'll probably have to catch like a 630, 645 train, I would think. And then I have to walk like five blocks to the to the courthouse. So guys, pray. I don't, pray my number doesn't come up. <laughs> I am not looking forward to that. But, you know, if it happens, it happens. So, so yeah. So I know I'll be on Monday, but depending on, um, you know, if I get called for jury duty, I won't be on Thursday. Because what I'm probably going to do is um, sleep down at my daughter's because she lives, I think, like 10 minutes from the train station. And here it's like, I don't know, Janet. I don't even know. I have to look at the number. So I have to call Tuesday night after 5 o'clock. And then I guess they tell me if my number is up or not. And then they say it's either three days or one trial. So you know you're going to be down there for at least three days. And if you live 50 miles or more away, I think they pay for a hotel for you. But I'm only like 25 miles away, so... I don't know. I think they're not going to pay for that, but oh well. We'll see. But yeah, again, here's my bunny. I love making these little bunnies. Usually the first 150. I'll have to look and see what my number is. I don't even know. I'm just praying that I don't get called. Yeah, I know. All right. So that is it for tonight. And like I said, I will, today's Thursday. I know I'll be on Monday. And Thursday all depends. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. And don't forget my little mailbox cover. So, if anybody's interested in that, I don't have that in my um, Etsy shop yet. And then my little carrot up here. I love that carrot that we made in group the other night. I know. Isn't it cute? All right, guys. You have a wonderful evening. That was a quick one, huh? So, if you have any questions or anything, let me know. And, oh, thanks, Kathy. 
What are the rings? The rings are um, little grapevine wreaths from the Dollar Tree. I know. I hope I don't get called. I really hope not. And then, of course, I'm getting, I, you know, I woke up not feeling great this morning, but you only had to go a few. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm really hoping. Okay, Marianne, definitely let me know. Send me a um, message. The carrot frame was an A-frame. And this, um, the bunny ears came from the Dollar Tree. The grapevines came from the Dollar Tree. And then this came from A.C. Moore. And the ribbon I got at um, Burton & Burton. So. All right, guys. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Indiana's cold. My sister lives in Minnesota. And she did that thing where you throw the water up in the air and it freezes. That was really cool. So. Yeah, send me a private message, Marianne, and I'll get you the information on that. Oh, thank you, Judy. I appreciate that. You guys have a wonderful night, and pray I don't get called for dirty duty. We'll see. And I'll put a, um, you are too, Janet. Ugh. It's not so bad if I have to go to, like, Norristown, which is, like, the local, like, the county one. I've had to do that, which isn't bad. I mean, that's only a half hour away. It's not that big of a deal. But when you have to go into the city, ugh, I really don't want to do that, but. What are you going to do? All right, guys. Thank you very much. And I have a great weekend. Stay warm. I know that's almost impossible, but stay warm. Um, Stephen, if you're on here, I'll be praying for you for your um, doctor's appointment on Monday. So, all right, guys. Have a wonderful evening. Thanks for stopping in. And don't forget to share. Bye.